everyone, Cassandra Brooks here. I am 37 weeks pregnant. Uh, baby will be here in, you know, give or take three weeks. And we are just now starting to get everything in order. Um, I have someone right now working on her nursery. <laughs> we literally just started it yesterday. And I uh, registered for my baby shower on Amazon. And so Amazon has this thing where if you complete your registry, you get a 15% off discount. So I added a bunch of stuff to my cart, <laughs> like 50 things, and got 15% off. And these are a lot of the packages. This is actually just two days worth of um, packages that I received and already it's like a mountain and it's kind of overwhelming. Um, but I thought I would share with you guys kind of like a crazy unboxing of uh, the items that I ordered for myself off of the registry that I made. First things first, I think I'm going to uh, slice open all of the boxes. That way we're not here forever. Alrighty, so let's dive right in. Um, I guess I'll just start opening packages. Amazon Prime is life when you're super pregnant. Well, let me just tell you, what is this? Oh, okay, so <laughs> this is a matching mommy and me dress. I got uh, a little cute romper that totally matches this um, for the baby uh, at my baby shower. And so I needed to order, obviously had to order the matching dress that goes with it. Cause I'm very extra and I, you know, love the matching mommy and me outfits. And you know what? I did check the box to have everything shipped in the least amount of boxes. And still we are <laughs> dealing with a mountain of boxes. Uh, this is another little outfit. It says, Mommy is my bestie. and comes with a matching bow for her hair. Here's another little matching Mommy and Me outfit. This is the uh, baby version. Obviously, this is not going to fit me. It's going to fit the little bump. Oh, here's a little jammy jam with some skull and crossbones on it. <laughs> Cute. And then here we have a package of hair bows. Just a bunch of different colors. Oh, and this one is so cute, guys. Let me take it out of the wrapper so you can see it. It's a little Hello Kitty pajama. And then this, what do we have? Oh, so cute, guys. <laughs> A little baby romper and it's like open in the back with crisscross and ruffles and roses and a matching little headband. Ugh, all the girl clothes, I swear, are so cute. And what else is in here? And then oh, these are socks. These are adorable little um, knee-high socks. Great. What's this? Oh, this is awesome. So this is a Disney Play and Go bag. Um, so we can throw all of her toys and stuff in here and just take it to go. And it's like a little play mat. And we have a pink box. Not quite sure what's in here. Oh, mm -hmm. these are little headbands that I ordered. Um, they come wrapped super cute for a gift. But anyways, they have little flowers that kind of need to be fluffed a little bit. But these are little baby headbands for my little boho babe. Um, comes with three different colors. So cute. Coachella vibes. <laughs> I've never even been to Coachella, but hey. Snapchat filter vibes. And here's that big bag with lots of clothes in it. Angel maternity. It's like Christmas, guys. <laughs> oh, I know what this is. Okay, so this is a matching robe and a baby set that I got for the hospital. Um, so I have pajamas and a robe and a matching uh, blanket for the baby, a little swaddle. So that way we can be obnoxious and matching from day one, of course. Right? I love the color. It's a beautiful dusty pink which is like totally my jam right now. And then this, oh, I think this is a pajama set for the baby, not mommy. Yep, 
So cute little organic cotton uh, pajamas in cute little prints. And then this. Oh my God, guys, <laughs> I can't, I cannot handle it. It's a tiny little skirt with like the bloomers underneath to go over her diaper and then stop a little crochet top. <laughs> I can't, it's so cute. Ridiculous. Aw, a little baby uh, bunny onesie and look at the bunny ears. Boop, 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 so sweet. All right, let's open a box. This is kind of heavy. What is in here? Oh, we have some books. This is a, a little book called You Are Loved, Welcome Wishes for New Babies. Um, I love this author. Um, all of their books are gorgeous. Nancy Tillman. Um, just, I can't. A couple of them have made me cry. They're just so sweet. And the pictures inside are like beautiful paintings, whimsical. I love it. And then, of course, had to get this for my little baby girl. It's the Little Feminist book set. So it's going to teach her about all these amazing women she should know about to be inspired. And that was it for that box. So heavy. Moving right along. There's more boxes. Hmm. Oh, this is uh, Infant Optics. So that's the uh, webcam, not webcam, <laughs> the like baby cam. I don't really know, what do you call it? <laughs> baby monitor, there we go, pregnancy brain. Um, so this is the baby monitor brand that we used uh, for Griffin and you can actually add on a camera for a second child. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's just a white uh, baby monitor. Not all that exciting, I guess. Oh, oops. I don't know what this is. I still don't know what this is. Aww. So I saw this at my best friend's baby shower. Someone got it for her and I thought it was the cutest thing ever. Um, it's called a peekaboo elephant, Flappy the Elephant by Baby Gund. Um, press my feet to play. Hey, it's not working. Hello, are you sleeping, Mr. Elephant? Maybe I turned him off. Oh. <laughs> Hello, baby. Peekaboo is the most fun with you. Mmm. Where'd you go? Peekaboo, I found you. Where am I? <laughs> Here I am. Where are Is that you? not the cutest? Peekaboo. Peekaboo. I see you. <laughs> oh, and there is a book in here. This is called Mama Loves You So. Guys, mm, I'm going to cry reading all of these. Hormones. Oh, God, this one's heavy. Like, really heavy. Like, the heaviest so far. What is in here? I have a gift receipt for something I bought myself. And, oh, these are the hangers for baby girl's clothes. Um, so these, this is the second, oh God, this is so heavy, I can't even hold it. And third set of hangers that I bought her. Um, Cause baby girl has some clothes. Um, it comes with 50 hangers in each. So I've already hung up 50 items of clothing and I have ran out of hangers so I had to order some more so I just decided to order two packs um, because I'll probably need them and I'm opening it so I could show you how cute the hanger is I mean who would have thought that a hanger could be so cute but everything teeny tiny is cute and to top it off it's pink with rose gold hardware so cute and here we have, it's kind of dirty. That's, um, oh, that's the outside at least. So this is by Little Spud and it's just a baby changing pad cover. Um, it's nice to have these uh, to protect the changing pad because shit happens, let me tell ya. <laughs> so I got um, two, that's all that was in this box, guys. It seems like such a waste. Oh, Amazon. Oh, that's a pink stuff. <laughs> 
Um, so this is just a Burt's Bees pajama. I love uh, the Burt's Bees pajamas. They're so soft and available at Target as well. This is a bag of something. Oh, these are more little knee-high socks. So cute. This is a little lace outfit for uh, like newborn pictures, which I still haven't found a photographer. I might end up winging it myself like I did with my son. Um, they were not great, let me tell you. They were pretty crappy actually. <laughs> it is really hard to photograph a newborn, um, but I've just been so busy and so stressed out that I haven't even tried to contact anyone. But look at this, it's a cute little bonnet. It's gray lace with a matching little romper. So sweet. And then this. What are you? So this is not what I remember it looking like in the picture. That happens sometimes ordering off Amazon. Um, I thought it was gray and white stripes, but it's still cute with the blue and white stripes. Um, this is a little hoodie outfit. Um, not the best quality, but it's not horrible. I've had worse from Amazon, and it has a matching little bow for her hair. Um, so I'm gonna check this out and see if they sent me the wrong color or not, or maybe I just don't remember what I ordered, which is possible. Oh, and this is a pretty little swaddle. You can see in there, little pink roses. Um, this is a bow for her hair. And this is a little <laughs> uh, lace uh, onesie, romper, whatever you want to call it. This is for pictures as well. Obviously uh, not for wearing out and about because it's see-through. Oh, and then this is a little bathing suit. Aww. It's by Ruffle Butts. And there's ruffles on the butt. So cute. Guys, the mountain is getting a lot smaller. This is great. Okay, what's in here? Oh, so this is the matching dress to that romper I showed you early on in the video. This is the mommy version. It has little ruffles that are supposed to hang off your shoulders. There you go, like so. <laughs> okay, these are probably a little impractical, but they were so cute. I had to have them for the little baby. Um, <laughs> These are slippers with little baby bunnies on them. Open! The bunnies are a little smushed, but you get the idea. Little baby bunny slippers. Squeak, squeak. All right, let's grab this one up here. Oh, <laughs> dropping it. And what do we have in here? We have um, another changing pad just pink so it's nice to have two that way if one gets pooed on you can throw that one in the wash and you have a backup so I have two changing pad covers that are slightly different and then this I know what this is this is our second matching hospital look <laughs> you gotta have two because you know you're gonna spend uh, more than one day there with Griffin I believe I was there for a total of three days um, and I say stay as long as you can because the nurses there help you out so much. Once you get home, <laughs> life is totally different. Uh, you're not gonna have all that help. So I did stay uh, in the hospital as long as I was allowed to with Griffin. And um, I'm not sure if I'll do the same this go around because obviously now I have a two year old. Um, so that might not work. But anyways, I figured it would be nice to have a second outfit anyways, just in case. Um, so this is by Everly Gray, and this is a shirt that is breastfeeding friendly. Um, we have a matching uh, hospital gown for the baby, and these are pajama pants. They're super stretchy um, waist. They're really comfortable, and I know that because I had a similar uh, outfit by the same brand uh, for Griffin's delivery. And then here's the matching robe. So, had to get it in pink for baby girl. This is 
Oh, baby bath pillow. So for Griffin, we had the yellow sunflower that you put in the sink to bathe them. Uh, we also had one of those infant tubs. Now we tried bathing him in the infant tub several times and he like screamed bloody murder every time we put him in there. He was not a fan. But the flower he actually really loved. I think because it's like really soft and squishy and comfy and it's not like cold plastic. Um, and so I wanted to get one for baby girl because we lent out uh, Griffin's to some friends. And you know, I didn't want to bug them to get it back yet. Maybe they like it. And so I thought I would get her a pink version anyways. Uh, so I'm hoping she likes it as much as Griffin liked his. Also, it makes bathing really easy because you don't have to bend down to put baby in the bathtub. You have them at uh, counter height and it's like really easy on your back. And this is for our Epa Baby Stroller. Um, this is called the piggyback board. It's a ride along board. You attach it to the back of your stroller and it allows your uh, toddler to uh, be on the stroller. They don't have to be sitting down if they don't want to. Sometimes they're active and they'd rather ride on this, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, we did get all the adapters for our Epa Baby from the baby shower. Um, that way we can have uh, my toddler and my infant on the same stroller at the same time. Um, and so that's actually why I chose the Epa Baby Vista um, when I was pregnant with my first child because I knew our family would be growing and we would have at least two kids. I wanted three, um, but I did compromise with hubby. I told him if we had a girl next that I would be okay with two, but if we had a boy next that we would try for three. And I swear guys, I thought I was gonna end up with three boys, but uh, things worked out really well. And uh, we are only going to need a stroller for two instead of three. <laughs> um, and, but technically that this stroller could accommodate three children because you could have two sitting in the seats and have the piggyback board as well. So you could be toting around three kids if your heart desired. Oh, this is just a love to dream swaddle sack. Um, so Griffin, like I said, love to be swaddled. Um, and these little zipper swaddle blanket things are like really awesome for when it's late at night and you just cannot deal with wrapping the swaddle. Um, and then also sometimes the babies just really prefer these. So I thought I would try one out. Um, I did not have this brand with Griffin, um, but it looked kind of cute and comfy. So we got one for little girl. And Simple Tot, thank you for your purchase. What did I purchase? Okay, so my girlfriend is going to lend me her Docatot, and it's the like bright white version, and I was really afraid of getting it dirty. Um, so I purchased this slip cover for the Docatot. Um, it's just pink, obviously. <laughs> um, and so then this way I can keep her Docatot nice and clean for when I have to give it back to her. Um, and I do know the cover on Docatot comes off so you can wash it, um, but I just really was worried about staining the bright white Docatot because they're expensive. Um, and since it's not mine, I didn't want to take a risk. So I bought this additional cover to go over it and protect it. Oh my gosh, guys, we only have one box left. Now this did not have an Amazon Prime like sticker anywhere on it, so I'm not sure if this is Amazon or not. Oh, it is. Okay. So this is also for the Docatot. This is the toy arch, and basically you just clip it on the sides of the Docatot, and it makes the Docatot like a play mat. And that's it. Those are all of the items that I have received so far from my baby registry on Amazon. I'm sure there's going to be plenty more packages arriving. <laughs> um, but anyways, I hope that you guys liked this unboxing video. And maybe the next time you see me, I might have a little baby in my arms. Ah, that's so crazy. <laughs> so exciting. I'm like so excited, guys. But uh, a little stressed out also because we did wait till like the final hour to start getting things going. Um, but it's all gonna fall into place, I know that. And I know that baby is gonna sleep in the bassinet in our room for you know a few months anyways. So it doesn't even matter if her room is put together completely or not. It doesn't even matter like all these things as long as she's healthy and we can bring her home. And like that's pretty much all you need, right? Um, obviously,
obviously maybe <laughs> some necessities like diapers and bottles and stuff like that, but we have that covered, I think, um, because we already know a little bit what we're getting into since it's our second. And yeah, I'm just kind of rambling because it's been a while since I made a video and uh, I just have a lot of anxious, <laughs> excited vibes going on in my body right now. Also, I'm not sleeping. Uh, it gets really hard to sleep in your third trimester. So I think my brain is just like fried from sleeping in like two hour increments. If I could just stop waking up to pee every two hours, that would be amazing. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope to see you guys again soon. And yes, I hope that wasn't too much pink overload for all you guys. <laughs> like vomited pink everywhere that I'm looking. Ah, so obsessed. Uh, yeah, so give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you so much. Mwah.